All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I wanted to make a video about this Jeff Cavalier um, Athlean X fake weights controversy. So a lot of people have been weighing in on this recently. Jeff Cavalier has been accused of using fake weights um, to make himself look stronger in his tutorial videos. If you guys don't know, Athlean X is one of the biggest fitness channels on YouTube with millions of subscribers. They do workout videos, training tutorials. They talk about form and technique and all that good stuff. Um, and recently... A lot of people have been pointing out the plates in Jeff's videos look suspicious, um, and they've also been pointing out that in certain lifts, like the 315-pound bench press, a 500-pound deadlift, they look too easy for a guy of Jeff's size. Jeff weighs about 170 pounds, um, and people are saying the motion of the bar, the amount of strain, it just didn't look right. But specifically in this video, I want to I want to focus on one point here. And that is the actual plates used in Jeff's videos. I'm going to show them while I show you guys what I have right here, which is a stack of fake plates. So um, right here I have a stack of fake weights. I'm going to show you guys real quick. We'll examine them in a minute. But back in 2017, when I used to do the videos on Brad Castleberry um, and Gracie Ann Barbosa, I cited in those videos a website called fakeweights.com. Now, fake weights at the time, and I believe still is, the number one retailer of prop weights, movie weights. So I said, look, fake weights are so easy to buy. You can literally Google fake weights. And the first result is a website called fakeweights.com where you can buy, you guessed it, fake weights. So after I made those videos, the CEO of this company reached out to me and said, look, you gave my website so much traffic with these videos that you made. I wanted to say thank you and send you some fake weights as a token of my appreciation. I said, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But sure, I'll take them. And now we have a use for these uh, fake weights. So let's look at them here and we'll compare to Jeff's uh, fake weights or Jeff's alleged fake weights here in a minute. So um, the main similarity that I wanted to point out between this plate and the plates that Jeff are using is the plastic look. Having these plates in person, which is why I wanted to make this video, I don't know if it comes off as well on camera in my videos or in Jeff's, um, but these plates have a very, very distinct plastic coating look to them. They don't look like rubberized plates. They don't look like bumper plates. They don't look like metal plates. They have a very distinct plastic look in person. I'll show you guys the front, the side, and the back there. So looking at these in person and looking at Jeff's plates, that's why I wanted to make this video is because I believe Jeff's plates have that same plastic coating look. Now, the design of Jeff's plates, they're not exactly the same as this. So this has 4545 barbell barbell on the design. Jeff's plate, I believe, has a 45, and then it has it converted into kilograms, then it only says barbell one time, and it's a little bit of a different center design. Now, if I show you guys fakeweights.com right now, they have a variety of different designs. I don't believe they sell this exact one anymore. Um, and they've changed up their design several times over the years. I don't know if the plates that Jeff is using is something they sold in the past or that he necessarily even got it from fakeweights.com. Um, but to me, the rubberized look of the plate or the plastic look of the plate is the dead giveaway to me why my opinion is that he is using fake weights. And again, just my opinion, and I'm just looking at the look of the weights. I'm not looking at the movement of the bar or any of that stuff. Um, like I said, there's a lot of great videos breaking that down. Vegan Gains, Curly Necks, Greg Doucette, I believe, did a video. Um, Scott Herman Fitness. There's a lot of very in-depth videos breaking down every detail of this. But for me, the only thing that I wanted to talk about was the plates. Because t the plates, to me, were the biggest giveaway. So... I think they look pretty similar, um, mostly the plastic look. Again, Jeff's plates are slightly different, but if you look at fakeweights.com, they've added a version similar to Jeff's version. A lot of their variations have the kilogram conversion on their plates now. Um, and a lot of other fake plates that I saw on different websites also have the kilogram conversion. They don't have um, this 45-45 look because I guess the kilogram look makes it look a little bit more real. Um, so in my opinion, just based on the look of the plate, I think that Jeff is using fake weights in comparison to my plates. Um, like I said, it's hard to see. I don't know if it comes off on video as well, but that plastic look to these plates, this this kind of matte black plastic texture looks to me exactly the same as the plates that Jeff uses. And, and just to show you guys they're fake, I'll drop it on my desk. It bounces. Um, it doesn't break my desk. It's plastic. It weighs maybe three to five pounds, so it's not weightless. So to give you guys some context, if Jeff had three of these on each side of the bar, claiming it was 315, it would move like roughly 70 pounds would move on the bench press. So if you watch those videos, 
Just keep that in mind. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Jeff is using fake weights? Yes or no? Do you care? Yes or no? And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to this channel in, uh, if you have not already. And please leave a comment in the comment section below one way or another how you feel about this situation. That's all from me. Compared to my plates, in my opinion, I think Jeff is using fake weights. No hate against the guy, though. I think he does offer a lot of valuable information on his channel. Um, so thank you guys for watching. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.